And what is up everybody? Arthur here, arthurtut.com. And today we're gonna to be continuing our deep dive into Atomic Habits by James Clear. And today I'm gonna to be continuing my discussion about engineering your environment. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about how to engineer your environment to make the things that you wanna do easy and the things that you don't wanna do hard, right? Because as I've said before, motivation and willpower, they're very limited. They're limited resources. And the more, the more complicated you make your environment, the more motivation and willpower you need to, to get through it. And so what do I mean by this? An easy example, right? Let's say you're looking to lose weight. I love the weight loss example because it's, it's super easy. Um, and in the last week that I've been here, I've, I've lost a lot of weight. Side note, like these shorts do not fit me anymore. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, you know, if you're looking to lose weight, right? Don't fill your kitchen and your house with junk food. Don't fill your kitchen with, you know, ice cream. Don't have chips. Like don't have all that like junk, deep fried, like all the snacks, all the things. Just don't do it, right? Keep the junk food out of your house. Maybe treat yourself once a week, go out, do something special. But that was a hack that I learned when I wanted to like get in shape and lose weight is I just stopped buying junk food. Because if you have, if you have a bag of chips or if you, I'm trying to think now like what people even eat as like junk food. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. But like if you've got chips or ice cream, if you've got soda, pop, if you've got like bottles of Coca-Cola, right? If they're in your house, you're going to see them and you're going to be tempted to go and eat them or drink them, right? Whereas if you don't bring them into your house and they're not there, they're not visible, you don't see them, you don't need to use that willpower to stop yourself from doing them. Similarly, if you want to get better like business or marketing or learning about psychology or if like if you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to start your own business, right? If you surround yourself with business books, right? If you put, uh, take photos of your mentors and your heroes and you put them up on the wall, if you create your environment so that all you see is business related content and that's the environment that you create, it's going to be so much easier to be, to see a book and be like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to pick this up and read now. You've now created that environment. Like I was talking about before about creating your identity. If you create your environment to match the environment of a business professional, you're going to start living as a business professional. Get a, you know, get some nice, get some nice button up shirts, get a, get a blazer. I like to dress up a little bit. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, there's a little pocket square here, right? So little things, I work from home. I don't need to dress up in a blazer, but I do it because I love doing it. I put on a blazer because I love feeling professional, right? So by creating an environment that is, is clean, there's no mess here, I feel, I feel dressed up, I feel professional, I've got my business books, right? I create that environment where then I feel more like a business professional. And when I feel more like a business professional, every day I become a little bit more of a business professional. It's a whole process of becoming, right? And so what I wanna stress and emphasize here is again, motivation and willpower are limited. And so instead create your environment where the things that you do wanna do, if you wanna work out, have your gym clothes out and visible where you can see them. And if you don't wanna eat junk food anymore, don't buy it, don't bring it home, keep that out of there. And so anything that you can do to reduce your temptation on the bad things and increase your craving on the good things is really gonna help you to solidify those new habits and those new ways of being. If you've got some thoughts, if you've got your own like hacks, tips, tricks, things that you do, throw them down below. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what you're doing. I wanna know what you're doing to like smash it and crush it in your life. Share your thoughts. I love responding to you. I'm the only one. I respond to every comment personally myself. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, smash the notify button, and we're gonna see you real soon again in the next one. Cheers.